Star Fox 2 is an unreleased video game for the Super Famicom or Super Nintendo Entertainment System. It was to be the second in the Star Fox series and direct sequel to Star Fox. Both Argonaut Game and Nintendo developed the game, with Nintendo planning to publish it. The Japanese version was completely finished except for some minor debugging tools that weren't yet removed. It is unknown if there are any complete official English version, though an official fan translation exists. This game was scheduled to be released in the summer of 1995. It also featured a more advanced 3D game engine thanks to the improved version of the Super FX chip. Okay, so why didn't it release? It even had an official release date of summer 1995. It even showed itself on Nintendo Power and a couple of other magazines. But why did it even come out? Well, I have two speculations about this and one probably being an obvious answer. One being that the late release of the game would affect the sales of the, uh, you know, the series and that game. So there really was no point of releasing it out to the public if it wasn't going to get bad sales. And the second being the Nintendo 64. It was coming out and, you know, Miyamoto even said itself, but that might have also just been a waste of time. But it's strange and rare cases that a game was actually finished and complete and just cancelled. This game was completed and it was ready to be sold and it's just been cancelled. Even the lead program, uh, I hope I pronounced this right, Dylan Kothberg, said it was complete. He said in an interview and I quote, Star Fox 2 was fully complete. I was the lead program while Gills made stunt race FX. Myself and the rest of the original Star Fox team, including Nintendo's artists and designers, expanded the Star Fox into a full 3D shooting game. Using state-of-the-art technology such as ability cl plane clipping, which has also been seen recently in such games such as Crash Bandicoot 2 and 3, to create some rather spectacular effects for the time. The reason for non-release was impending N64, which of course was intended to be released a lot sooner than it actually was. Miyamoto decided he wanted to have a clean break between 3D games on the Super Nintendo and 3D games with the new Superior 64 big console. In retrospect, he could have released Star Fox 2 and it would have been over a year and a half before N64 came out, but in hindsight it was 20 out of 20. Star Fox 64 incorporated a lot of his new ideas was created in Star Fox 2, but it didn't. In my view, take a genre a few steps forward. Star Fox 2 really was a different direction of gameplay. Yep, that's what he said. It sucks not having a true sequel to Star Fox on the Super Nintendo like it should have been. The game has been leaked around the internet through downloadable ROMs if you have some sort of emulator. So if you want to play it, you know, just download the ROM. I hope Nintendo would release it on uh, some sort of virtual console. I've seen so many people talk about it on forums. It really should be released in some sort of ad adaptation of virtual console. You know, so that's a pretty good idea on the Wii U or even the 3DS can support it. Uh, but if we ever do want to play it, you know, I just said just load up a ROM with emulator. I honestly really don't prefer emulators. I really don't like it, but if you want to and knock yourself out, not my problem. My name is the Sus Effect, and I'll talk to you guys later. The previous video was brought to you by Apex Minecraft Hosting. For the best service for the best price, make sure to check out the link in the description.